Well, thank you everyone for coming. Again. Who <laughs> <laughs> was here last time? Yeah. <laughs> um, just like to start. Well, I, said, what? I don't know if you know, but there's loads of light preserves on the table. Has everyone noticed this? Yeah. I'd just like to shout, Matt, you've made this, haven't you? And put preserves on everyone's table. It's going straight in my basket. <laughs> We had a bit of a heavy night last night. Anyone that stayed over, you'll know. Yeah. We are feeling a little bit fragile. So uh, if you could just refrain yeah. from cheering loudly and clapping as I know that you want to. Uh, you know, not boozing to the early hours of the morning, but we didn't want to see Darren on his own, so. <laughs> as our two best men, we were trying to work out the best way to conduct the speech. So we decided to just do a couple of lines each. speech should be the uh, the same time as the groom takes to make love. So, uh, <laughs> here's the Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey. Thank you very much. <laughs> Joe, you look absolutely beautiful. You're really 8 out of 10. <laughs> Darren, you couldn't have done any better, and Joe, you couldn't have done any worse. <laughs> Gents, I know you'll agree with me, today is a sad day for single men. As another beauty leaves the available list. And ladies, I'm sure you'll agree with me that today has gone without a hitch. <laughs> During the service today, I couldn't help thinking it's funny how history repeats itself. I mean, it was 40 years ago, Rosemary was sending her daughter to bed with a dummy, and it's happened all over again today. Part of him hopes so, and I bet we can guess which part. <laughs> well, what can we tell you about the groom, eh? We've known him for 20 years. He's handsome, intelligent, witty, charismatic. <laughs> Darren? <laughs> Dad, what's the next bit, sir? I can't read your handwriting. <laughs> We bought Darren a present to say thank you, a pack of Olympic condoms. Here, mate, make sure you don't use the gold one to come second for one. Darren's had a tough year this year, finding out he was diabetic. Lots of highs and lows. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a few stories. No, well, we'll leave them. I say, no, we I say, we tried to find stories. Um, who knows 
Darren, put your hands up. <laughs> Known him a long time. Yeah. We struggle for stories with Darren. If it was Steve, tons of stories. <laughs> Mel, loads of stories. Just, we just really, really struggle with Darren. That's the problem. We asked everyone, his mum and dad. It's just not a lot to go around with, with Judge. He's really sensible. <laughs> really, really sensible. And there's just one story that we managed to squeeze out of him. In 2001, we, embarked, we decided to embark on a Club 1830 holiday to Falaraki. <laughs> we sat in a large terrace in front of the hotel watching football on the big screen. The terrace was packed with people from our hotel. Everyone was hammered. So Darren finishes his drink, gets up off his seat and heads towards the bar. The next thing we hear is a big bang and everyone on the terrace was laughing. We look up and there was Darren lying at the bottom of the steps. What he had done is... He'd ran up the steps into the bar, the bar area, not realising the barman had closed the doors and knocked himself clean out. That's as much fun as we can find for Darren. <laughs> well, what we've got is thank you for the lovely gifts and presents. What we've done is got a couple of card readings for you now. Yeah. So, um, what you got on there? Dear Joe. It was nice while it lasted, but I guess you'll have to call it a day now, you're married. From Brad Pitt. Here's <laughs> <laughs> one for Darren. Darren, you've got a card. Thanks yes. for the weekend's lazing by the pool. I do, I do hope you've made the right choice, Michael Barrymore. <laughs> Congratulations, welcome to prison, that's from Luke. <laughs> uh, there are three rings of marriage, the engagement ring, the wedding ring, and the suffering. That's from your brother, Steve. <laughs> well, we do hope that Darren and Joe enjoyed a honeymoon in Wales. Well, I soon that's where they're going. When I asked Darren where, what he was doing after the wedding, he said, I'm going to bang her for a fortnight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, before we finish, can we all um, be upstanding in a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Jeffries? Well done, lads. 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 Well